Hey guys, how are you doing? If you see an error, no GPS showing your approximate location on iPhone, then these troubleshooting steps will help you to fix the problem. For some users recently reported that while using Apple Maps, Google Maps or Waze map application or any third party application that requires GPS usage, they all of a sudden see an error message at the top that no GPS available on the iPhone and showing your approximate location error message you know only pops up and they are not able to use the precise location feature. So just as a basic check. What you have to do is if you experience similar error on your iPhone, navigate inside the settings, scroll down a little bit and then go inside the privacy and security and click on the location services and select the map application or third party application and make sure that the precise location toggle is on. If it is off, then only the approximate location, the city that you are in will be accessible by the third party application, the map application, including the Apple Maps, Google Maps and Waze application. So after making sure that the precise location access has been given, now do a simple restart of your iPhone because you were able to use all the map applications without any issues, but all of a sudden you are seeing no GPS showing your approximate location error. Then do a simple restart or a force restart by pressing and releasing the volume up button once then pressing and releasing the volume down button once then press and hold the side button or the power button for like 5 to 10 seconds and automatically it will restart this is the force restart method to fix any software related glitches that causing trouble with the hardware features to not normally function so this type of force restart i'll also display the steps on the screen follow this step to do the force restart and most cases cases 90% cases the issue will be resolved with a simple force restart then you can open the Apple Maps Google Maps or Waze app and then you can continue accessing the GPS service without any issue if the issue still present then what you have to do is navigate inside the settings and then scroll down a little bit to access the general then scroll down and date and time so here make sure that the set automatically is selected time and date details from the Apple server. So if you turn it off, then you have to choose the time zone manually. Otherwise, it will automatically fetch based on the network information and uh, you know the place that you are in. So make sure that this is set to automatically and not in a manual mode you know that could cause some trouble with the gps to function properly in certain locations and the third important troubleshooting step is like if still the problem is not fixed then within the settings general navigate to the transfer or reset iphone click on reset and then you need to perform reset network settings the issue seems to be a little bit deeper at software level so you need to perform the reset network settings which will also clear and delete all the Wi-Fi logins and passwords that you have stored on your iPhone so make sure you have copied any passwords that you could you know cannot recollect from the network details so perform the simple network settings reset and this will definitely help to fix the problem if you are still experiencing no GPS showing your approximate location on iPhone then the issue could be hardware related you need to visit the nearest Apple service center to let the technician run diagnostics on your iPhone to detect the hardware related problem the GPS chip failure that could have happened due to the physical drop of a phone sometimes you know due to the internal chip level damage so the GPS service may not be working properly so if we have eliminated all the software related possible reasons then it could be the hardware issue that is causing the error with the GPS not functioning with Apple Maps Google Maps and Waze application so let the technician run diagnostics at Apple Service Center and that will help us to identify and fix if it is a chip level problem at Apple Service Center mostly they don't do chip level services so in such case you need to visit the third party service center if based on the spare parts availability they may do the chip level service to fix the GPS chipset on your iPhone's logic board. This is how you can fix the issue. For some people, the first step will be helpful. For some people, the third step could be helpful to fix the issue. So try them one by one. And I hope this video helped in some way. If you find it useful, don't forget to share it with your friends. And for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.